I chose Ernest quite simply because I think it's one of the best pieces of comedy ever written. I think what makes it so special is, is its wit. You know, its, its premise is kind of, it's almost completely absurd, this idea of two different young women both being obsessed with the idea of marrying a man named Ernest. It's, it's completely illogical and, and connects with the most superficial parts of us. But Wilde's wit is just extraordinary. The way he plays with words, his sense of timing, um, and his, his ability to, to get people to behave badly. Well, it's hard to pick a favourite moment in the importance of being earnest, but of course, the handbag exchange is very popular and wildly repeated whenever the show is mentioned. I think your favourite moments in earnest, there's always going to be some that involve um, the formidable Lady Bracknell. She's kind of so, she's so acidic and she's so um, intimidating. Um, she is authoritarian, she is narrow-minded, she's domineering, She's snobbish, great fun to play, I think. <laughs> and I'll be aiming to tick all those boxes while having a very good time in the process. Um, well, in casting terms, I'm, it, it's really exciting. Uh, Nancy Hayes, who for me is one of the legends of Australian theatre, um, is gonna be playing Lady Bracknell. Uh, and, you know, Nancy, Nancy is kind of sweet and generous and brilliant and doesn't have a mean bone in her body but is such a fabulous actress that she was really, you know, she was the first person who popped into my head. I've never played Lady Bracknell before but I'm very thrilled to have been asked to do so and I'm hoping that I will be all that is expected of me. Um, we'll be staging the play in fully traditional period um, so there'll be all the wonderful kind of rich sets and frocks that you expect with something like Ernest. I think the importance of being Ernest is so popular because it's a, um, a trivial comedy for serious people. That appeals to me. It's high farce, it has sparkling witty dialogue and of course it seems to delight audiences whenever they see it. I look forward to coming to Canberra because I'd like to reconnect with discerning audiences who are supportive and warm and are ready to show their appreciation for having a good night in the theatre.